What's up, cringe kids? I'm just gonna like apologize in advance because this is not gonna be like a happy, cheerful vlog that it normally is, and I'm sorry, but I just wanna let you guys know what I recently found out about my horse and what's happening with my calves. So let's just go ahead and get started. So basically, I'll start off with the calves. So basically, two weeks ago, exactly a day actually, I bought two calves, posted this video, you can watch it if you haven't watched it already. Um, but the one, 277, she's doing really good. Actually, I did try, oh my love. Also, I'm in with little Dolly and Domingo over there, so you might see them popping in and out or something. I just wanted a quick pop in and say if you have any questions for me, feel free to comment them down below because I might do a Q&A soon. I did try and film like a little update with them guys, but they were like so close to me that I couldn't even like get far away to show you guys what's going on with the other one. So 277 is doing really good. That was the Christmas baby. Uh, she's drinking on her own, thankfully. Her older sister though still needs help with drinking with like someone's fingers in her mouth and stuff. Obviously I would prefer her to be able to do it like her little sister all by herself, but that's like lovable. Um, but something's going on with her left back leg. I'll try and show you guys in these videos I film, but like I said, they're so close to me, it's hard to see. Hi! Oh my goodness, baby. Okay, so this one, 277, is fine. It's that one that I'm worried about. Hi, I don't have any milk with me right now. Okay, see its leg back there? Its left back leg? It, like, doesn't even want to put any weight on it. You're okay, my love. Like, what the heck, mama? What's wrong? Okay, see how, like, jumpy this one is? And that one's trying to be... But it's like totally limping, and I feel bad. <laughs> you guys are so cute. See, look it. And it's like rubbing on, oh my goodness, Christmas. <laughs> that one's so feisty. But it's like, hold on. I can't get far away from you guys to show you what's going on. So yeah, that's really weird. Miguel says that it's not broken, thankfully. Um, but she's like literally limping on it, as hopefully you guys are able to see there. Um, and she doesn't want to put any weight on it. So I guess I'll just have to wait and see what happens. She's still eating good, so that's a good sign. But I don't know. We'll see what happens, I guess. Okay, so now for what I think is going on with Phoenix. Um, real quick, I just want to say I'm not a doctor. I don't claim to be a doctor. I'm not a veterinarian. You can obviously do your own research if your horse is like this or if you just want to figure out more. Um, but Miguel was researching a couple of days ago on Saturday night and then Sunday morning he was like, Claire, I think I figured out what's going on with him and then my brain went to like the next level, connected two dots and then we were like freaking out like, oh my gosh, like I think we figured it out. Not like all happy, but just like, oh my gosh, like we're actually figuring this out type of vibe. So I'm just going to tell you guys what we think is the reason why he acts like he does. Okay, so a little backstory on my horse Phoenix. So. He's a Gypsy Banner and I got him for Christmas in 2019 and he was pretty young then and my dad has trained in broken horses before and he's always said that Phoenix was like the hardest one ever and, and he's gonna be turning like three this spring and he still acts like a literal like cranky toddler 24 7 he hates his face being touched like you can barely do like I can barely do anything with him like feeling safe enough to he's constantly like biting absolutely everything I posted a video last week and I literally just went to pet his face and he was freaking out um he still rears up all that stuff whatever and that's like normal for like training horses and stuff like they can do that but when it's like an every single day thing it makes you wonder like okay is there actually something wrong with him because like miguel's done this before and he's always thinking like what am i doing wrong like why is he acting like this okay so miguel typed in head shaking and horses and i did and I just went on to like this website where he got all of his information so I don't like mess anything up when I'm telling you guys this. It is common for a horse to just go like that like every once in a while but he does it like uncontrollably like violently. Like, now we're thinking okay like does he have like a literal disorder like what's going on. However repeated and seemingly involuntary head shaking might be because, might be because of a nerve disorder called triminal mediated head shaking. I know I messed that up, but that's what it's called. It says a horse affected by the disorder, head shaking, may suddenly and repeatedly flick, jerk, or shake his head, which he literally does that all the time. I literally have it on a video. Other signs include obsessively rubbing his nose on objects or forelimbs, striking at his muzzle, twitching lips, 
or snorting and like it has a bunch of and it has like a couple other things but I literally have videos of him doing exactly what this says he'll shake his head and then after that he'll walk and like rub his mouth or he'll like chew at the gate and stuff hi my love um but it's crazy because like he literally does exactly what this website is saying that's why Miguel thought that this is like what he has and that's what made me believe it too but then it's like okay like how and why does he have this disorder like how did he even get it Okay, but then I was freaking out because I was like, okay, the first thing that I got him, he got anaplasmosis from a tick and he was running a really high fever. And I know that when horses have run really high fevers, which he was, neurological damage can happen. So it's like, oh my gosh, like we're piecing this all together. Basically, like the nerves in his face are all like messed up. It says, the horse may feel pain in the form of burning, itching, tingling, or electrical sensations in his face. And then the cause of the nerve abnormality is unknown. So that means like whenever I go to pet his face, so, like pain, and horses automatic like defense thing is to like bite, like get it away from me. And so it's like, that all makes sense. Cause whenever I try and pet him, he tries to bite, at, he tries to like bite at me, bite away at my hand. And so it's like, what if he's like feeling pain or burning whenever I touch him? And so it's like, I feel bad, but I don't know if this is like, but I don't know if he has all this stuff or if he's just really a mean, like bad behavioral horse. I don't know, but this is all like making sense. But then it's also like Phoenix does good in the morning when my dad leads him out to his pasture from the barn. But in the morning, he does that at like 5, 6 in the morning. It's dark out. Okay, so the triggers include light, exercise, sound, temperature, wind, neck, neck position, wearing tack. And it makes sense because when Miguel leads Phoenix out in the morning, it's dark. So he does that at like 5, 6 a.m. And he does like pretty good. You know, he doesn't try and bite him. He's not like flicking his head around a lot. Um, but then in the afternoon, when it's obviously light out, that's when he has the problems. And so... I don't know, because, like, one of the triggers is light, so it kind of makes sense. And it also says mature geldings are more prone to head shaking than mares or stallions, which he is a gelding. Like, I feel like a literal, like, detective, like, scientist, like, trying to piece this all together. Um, Miguel is going to buy some supplements for him to try and slow this down. I'm not a big fan of giving animals pills or people. I never even take pills, not even for pain. Um, but we're just going to try supplements. It's not medicated. It's not pills or anything. It's just like a vitamin. But it'll just go in with his feed. Okay, so I don't want to like freak you guys out or anything. But I spent like most of my night at the ER tonight. Um, so I apologize if this video came out late tomorrow. I'm trying to edit it tonight before I go to sleep. Um, but I'm fine. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna survive. Um, so yeah, and I just want to say, um, also my battery ran out when I was actually filming this video, but a thing that the website says to do is try to like minimize the triggers and stuff. So like if your horse gets triggered by light, like work them in like a low lit arena or like keep them in a dark stall at night which is sad because like all i want is a normal horse you know like i don't want to have to only ride him in the dark and stuff um but we'll just see how this goes my dad has been giving him some supplements in his grain um i don't know if that's helping or not right now i don't think it is but we'll see what happens i guess i just want to say thank you guys so much for watching this video okay, i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe share your friends stay cringy and i'll see you in the next one bye also comment down below any questions that you have for me